Hey everybody. Now that we figured out that we're recording, we're working on a Momentum 399TH, which is um, actually pretty different. Um, so we're gonna kind of take this wall apart, which I don't know if you can see it on here, but the yeah, it uh, has a mid wall. Uh, it's got a middle wall that a is falling apart, so it doesn't go all the way through. And then, uh, but we're gonna see. We're gonna design this out for 12 batteries, two MPPTs, two multi pluses, um, eight 360 watt panels, um, two color GXs. What else? Anything else? Oh, 712. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, we're just going to start tearing things apart because that's what we do. There's a hot mess. <laughs> with heat applied. Here we go with the angles again. See the angle? So this is the angle. This is square to the floor here. So it's like wondering how much space is behind here that we're not using because I'm sure that this one's a little different because it's the 399 um, it seems extra wide too yeah I like that Just come on in join me well I got caught on something at the door in the latch I guess it kind of hurt <laughs> oh this is ready to come out and this oh it's got a thing on the side there silly me Get it on. Lighting. Oh yeah, that lighting. Lighting is horrible in these basements until I get done with it. And then it'll be like, oh. Yeah, might want to do that first. Yeah, I'm probably gonna. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there goes the wall. Do you need me to get out? Uh, no. Oh. I just uh, might have to suck in a little bit. Oh, I don't know about this one. This is gonna be interesting. Of course, you're good at this, so. It's raining. Do you want me to take It'll it out? The garage, and yeah. put, oh, okay, here. I'll take this. I'll take this. Yeah. That's actually a wall this time. Can you do it? Yep. Wow. I don't wanna hear anything about you being weak later. That took muscles. So, look at this hot mess. Oh yeah, this is this? this is totally different. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Look, I keep breaking stuff. Sorry about that. So let's take this non-connected wall. So I'll let you take that. All right, we'll get a little spin, spin, spin. Spin, spin, spin. <laughs> Everybody knows what movie that was. I don't think nobody even answered, so. That's because I think most people don't watch our videos the entire way through. <laughs> Just saying. Well, they put the transfers right there. <laughs> oh, brilliant. <laughs> Can we take that one out again? Sure. Here, hold this again. Sorry. Oh, we'll hold that again. Oh, Ooh, careful, it's got um, screws yeah, in it. Well, it does, but it's sideways. That was the kicker. Here's kicker? Straight. Flex them muscles. So, we have converter, water pump, transfer switch. Hot mess. Wow, that is a hot mess. Oh my word, really? Oh, this is the reverse floor plan where when you just get through over there. Yeah, when you come in the door, this is uh, your entertainment wall on the other side, of course. That's the back of the fireplace right there. And then right over here, that is actually the stairs, which is really horrible because normally I take there? the stairs apart. Mm -hmm. And this is frame. So 
But the good thing is, right there is the uh, breaker box. Hmm. Yeah, we'll have to get creative here. So, nothing really worthwhile as far as space. I mean, they actually did well on this one. I as mean, far as space goes, yeah, they they used all of they it. used it. Just pains me that, like, well, and that's not even really a whole lot of room in there. To be completely honest, I mean, there's your incoming shore power. I mean, sure. I mean, I could take and build a battery wall here, but. I don't know that he's going to gain a bunch of space. Well, yeah, but as long as he doesn't lose it, that's what he cares about. So, yeah. I think if you push that back a little bit, you're going to get rid of the converter anyway and then do the box area. Yeah, that would yeah well, be good. I, I would do this entire wall as a box. Right. But then, if any of this breaks or starts dripping, oh, yeah. you can't get to it. Right. So, wow. I said, I'm going to wake up at 4 a.m. and say, I've got it. <laughs> this one is a monster. This week we are working on another momentum. And it is a little bit different from the ones that we have worked on before. It is a 399TH. And yesterday we did some assessment as far as how he's going to do this one. And we think it's going to be pretty wicked awesome. So we're excited to show you guys this one. So this is what it looks like before in the basement. In this one, I mean, you can see that there's not as much space um, behind the wall that there normally are. So they actually did a pretty good job of, of using all the space. But, um... So obviously that makes Mike's job a little bit harder, but um, he has a pretty awesome plan for what he's going to do. And he's already up in the front bay working. So stay tuned. Hello everyone. So far, let's see, I am three hours into it, three, three and a half, something like that. And I have done a little bit of this, actually done a lot of this. Um, so the plumbing, all of this plumbing used to be here and then it would come straight across here at a nice big fat angle, losing space in the basement. And then it would come over and then go up into this. So <clears throat> what I've been doing is I took these and ran them all across the roof there's going to be a large battery wall right here and then uh anything that plumbing wise that he'll have to do he'll have to go in whoever will have to go in this way to get to all the stuff behind it uh I've got all the wiring redone um just getting ready to uh stick all the what are these things called the tank pull levers and uh, get those fastened down to the ground and, uh, floor and then get the uh, floor built up about quarter inch half at the most and then setting in the uh, battery wall um, Let's see what else did I do I move the move the water pump and If you can see this See how flat it is Look in your basement This was on the supply side from the fresh tank and it's um, this this pipe is actually made for pressure, not negative pressure, as in sucking from the uh, uh, fresh tank. So it sucks flat, and then you have no you have pressure whenever the water's off. But then you turn the water on and let it run for a second, and then the water uh, you don't have any volume. It cuts down on the volume. So we hard plumb that in. I think it's probably right in line with the camera. Um, 
uh, then uh, moved the water pump up out of the way. Um, you know, just kind of neatened it up, redid all of the cable TV and all that stuff. It is now um, running behind this vertical right here so that everything can push back and go over this way as far as we can. But anyhow, all of that part is done. Now I'm getting ready to do the transfer switch and uh, converter, which the converter will come out. Um, but the transfer switch and I've got to add a uh, onboard surge and there's a little little deck rate up here what I believe I'm going to do is I'm going to put the onboard right up here and then um, on the left hand side on this little part I'll put the transfer switch and then over yonder because we're in the south uh, this wall right here I found something special planned for this wall right here. But I'm uh, and it's not just rubbing it like it's that. It's not just rubbing it. It's going to be <laughs> an awesome wall right here. He's getting to know that wall a little too well. Yep. Um, but anyhow, this wall right here is going to have some really cool stuff on it. I've already redone the lighting. So it is like daylight in here. Um, so, and then there's a switch right there on the right hand side. So. Uh, anyhow, uh, this is going to be a very, very good system. So I'm going to get back to it so I don't get behind. Alright, so things have changed a little bit as far as how we are going to do things. Um, so because this coach is a little different and there's not quite as much, um, I mean, I better move off that wall because he's doing stuff on the other side and I film it. Anyway, so um, because this one doesn't have quite as much um, unused space and they use, you know, the majority of what was behind the wall, um, Mike was going to build a battery rack. Uh, he was going to build that rack there. Well, he, he already re-ran the, the, he actually put pegs in instead of those flexible lines, so he did do that. Um, so the problem is, is if, uh, well, the, not, not really a problem, but the client said that he would actually like to change all of it up to PEX um, soon. And so the issue with, with how we were going to design it is that you only have this space to kind of get back in into here um, and do that with. So uh, what we've decided to do is they, um, we don't typically like to do this. However, these clients... Um, do not use the storage under their bed um, and there's lots of storage there. So um, he actually Said he was fine. He, he actually is the one who suggested it. So we're actually going to put the batteries in under the bed um, and uh, He wants to grow his battery bank to 12 batteries anyway, and so um, Being able to do that. I mean he can actually fit like so much more than that in there. So um, but he can also still use some of it for storage if they decide to. Um, the cool part about the basement though is that because Mike did what he did all over here and put, and put these PEX lines up here, they gained all of this space as well because this was behind a wall before. So they still did gain space under the basement. So it's still the same business plan that we normally do. So anyhow, uh... Yeah, so things are going to change. He's basically just going to put this wall back up. Um, he's already done the, the strip lighting down here as well. So we may, we're not sure if we can find some plexiglass. Um, we may just in, insert plexiglass here so that he can actually just see through it if he um, has a water leak or anything like that. And doesn't have to, either that or um, because we went to Lowe's last night, they didn't even have any. Um, or he's going to put this wall back up, but it's going to be a door so that he can actually access it. Um, so Mike is actually working in the front bay, so let's go check on him and see what he's up to. Looks like a hot mess up here. He's already removed the lead acid. These are lead acid, I assume? Yes. He's this already... Is AGM and this is a oh, he had both? Wet cell. Okay, so he did have wet cell and AGM batteries, so he's already removed all of those. He has also removed the magnum inverter, it looks like. Let's see what we've got going on under here. 
existing jaboni. He wants to do a deployable, so I'm going to take this. It was mounted on this wall. I'm cleaning this up so that when he puts stuff in here, you don't have to worry about hitting stuff that's on the wall. However, the multiplexes are going to recess from that side of the wall, and they're going to be about this high. Two of them right there. And then uh, I'll have some framing going up to the roof. And then um, over here, right in this corner right here, if I can get the wiring to reach, Right there is where the Jaboni is going to sit. I'm going to have him coiled up some uh, MC4 connectors down at the bottom here. And then if he wants to, um, uh, you know, throw a deployable out on the ground, he can, you know, plug into the MC4s. So, now I'm just trying to put it all back together. Alright, let's show you guys the inside. I really like this floor plan, by the way. And of course, there is no light in here because I forgot the power's off. So I may have to re-record this. However, we've already got the six batteries kind of laid out here, but you can see how much space they actually do have in here. I mean, it's it's a ton of space. Um, so I'm pretty excited to see how this one turns out as far as this, you know, how we like pretty installs. So looking forward to that. And then also he has two color GXs. Um, so here's here's one of them and um, what we've decided to do is to use this cabinet um, because he wants his uh, his wife to be able to see the color GX's uh, the battery monitor and the progressive industry surge monitor so or the display and so we're gonna use this cabinet it's gonna look maybe similar to the already existing cabinet yeah I'm probably gonna have to redo this because it doesn't look very like very good lighting but anyways um they as you can see they don't really use this this cabinet as much um so he was totally fine with that and he was more concerned about um he doesn't want to lose space anywhere else um and he wants them to be able to be easily um seen as far as you know just opening a door and looking at it so um yeah so that's what we're gonna do Good morning. We are on day two of this Momentum 399TH and today we're up on the roof and we have um, just measured and uh, these panels are a little bit different size uh, because they're 360 watt panels um, which we normally do the 325. Um, he had bought 10 of these and he has a super clean roof. It's pretty awesome and big and all that, but unfortunately all 10 will not fit, but we just measured it out and eight will fit. We're going to do one here. The box, combiner box is going here and we're going to use the um, satellite roof channel that we normally do. Um, we are going to do three this way. Um, it will go over that and then he will have to cut down this vent a little bit as well. Um, so three here, which is four, another three here, which is seven, and then one on the back is eight. Nope. Yep. Yep. We're recording. That was really weird. Is it? Yep. Is it recording? Yes. Recording? Okay. <laughs> hey, everybody. Now that we figured out that we're recording, we're yeah. I'm going to set you guys down for a second. Sorry. What happened? It went dark. Okay. A foam mattress, and it just doesn't, the weight of the uh, mattress doesn't hold up on the, the storage. So, or the sprint, the. Babe. What are those hinges called on a bed thing? To like lift the bed up. Thanks. Um, the mattress is too thick and heavy to um, go up on those those gas. Um, so I forgot what he called them now. But 